Welcome to this clinician update on the Pacicuff Ultra urethral control device in which we introduce the latest UK-based safety, effectiveness and user satisfaction data. The Pacicuff Ultra is a penile wrap, also known as a urethral control device that comfortably prevents stress urinary incontinence in men whilst preserving penile circulation. Pacicuff is manufactured in Canada by Pacey MedTech but distributed in the UK and Ireland exclusively by iMedicare Pelvic Health Naturally via website mypelvichealth.co.uk. The designer of the Pacicuff Ultra, which is a CE licensed class 1 medical device, is Canadian neurovascular surgeon Jack Pacey MD, as seen in the Blue Donut, supported by a highly competent and experienced team of biomedical engineers. Pacicuff Ultra is unique, unlike any previously designed urethral control device. Pacicuff comes in three sizes, small, medium and large. The size choice is identified by a penile girth size assessment. Correct sizing and application ensures that the fenestrated hood preserves penile circulation for all day indoor or outdoor use. A soft, enhanced urethral bridge made from neoprene gently compresses the urethra from below, stopping unwanted urine leaks. Adjustments are achieved via the Velcro Secure and slider mechanism to ensure comfortable all-day usage. Each Pacey Cuff Ultra is designed to last at least six months of daily use, but may last longer depending on frequency and methodology of use. Let's hear what Jack Pacey has to say about his invention. Hello, my name is Dr. John Pacey, inventor of the Pacey Cuff Urethral Control Device. Pacey MedTech is proud to bring you the new Pacey Cuff Ultra, a state-of-the-art device for treatment of post-prostatectomy incontinence. The Pacey Cuff has three parts, the upper vascular protective hood, the lower urethral compressive part, which stops urine flow, and the Velcro strap, which maintains the compression between the upper and lower part. The power sleeve is a device which makes the Pacey Cuff more comfortable by preventing pinching and by increasing continence. Apply the power sleeve to the mid-shaft of the penis and attach the Velcro. It should be snug, but not tight. Now apply the Pacey Cuff over the end of the penis and center it on the power sleeve. Center the urethral compressor over the urethra. Compress the top and bottom parts and secure the Velcro strap, noting the number. If you're uncircumcised, leave the foreskin in its natural position. After applying the cuff, be sure that there's no pinching. This can be checked manually and visually. Empty the bladder every one or two hours by releasing the compression of the Pacey Cuff. There is no need to remove the Pacey Cuff or the power sleeve during urination. Hello everyone, my name is Bob Yang, consultant urologist at Royal Berkshire Hospital. It's my pleasure today to present our centre state and in fact the UK's first experience on using Pacer Cuff, a new external device for male stress during incontinence. Now, SUI is a distressing condition which we all know about and in fact the prevalence of it is rising year on year. Most commonly associated with radical prostate surgery and bladder outlet obstruction as the aging demographic continues, so the caseload increases. Whilst implantable continence devices offer a fantastic solution to a lot of patients, the long waiting list means a lot of patients are often left in pads whilst waiting for these procedures. Furthermore, some patients now are unfit or too high risk for surgical implant uh, solutions and therefore left with no other option but incontinence pad, which can severely affect quality of life. Penile clamps offer a simpler external option worn to reduce incontinence, however the traditional clamps can only be worn for three hours due to the risk of penile ischemia. So the pacer cuff is a new type of penile cuff designed to maintain the blood flow and so patients can wear it overnight for up to 24 hours without any issues. So here's, here's the device itself. As you can see, it comes in three different sizes. On the ventral aspect, there's a knuckle which pushes up against the urethra, causing compression. And contralaterally, there is a cuff which pushes on the dorsal aspect, giving the contralateral force required. This allows, therefore, the penile arteries not to be affected or compressed, which allows it to be worn for longer than three hours without risking penile necrosis. 
We identified 14 patients with urodynamic proven SGY, recruited them and performed baseline penile oxygen saturations on them in clinic, as well as asked them to bring in a three hour pad for weighing how much urine was lost and a 24 hour pad count as well. We also performed some baseline incontinence questionnaires. The patient were then shown how to fit the pacing cuffs and fit it, and then were uh, had their penile oxygen measured one more time and then told to go about their daily activities. The patients then came back after three hours, so the patients actually were quite active during these time as they often walked into town for coffee in Reading. When they came back in three hours time, we re-measured the PC cuff um, in terms of the fit, as well as the penile ox oxygen saturations at the penile head, and importantly, a new three-hour pad weight. The patients then went home with the, pad, with the PC cuff itself and follow up via telephone at two weeks and one month. For those who were not familiar, uh, here is how we measured the penile uh, head oxygen saturations. You can see here a clamp was very effective at providing a stable reading with the pace curve both on and off to allow us to measure the penile saturations on patients before and after the cuff's usage. average age across our cohort was 75, ranging from 62 to 82, which is a very standard cohort in patients with uh, male SUI. In particular, though, three of our patients were deemed high risk for further incontinent surgeries. They had a uh, previous urethral erosion from previous uh, continence of devices on a background of radiotherapy. So really, these patients were the ones we did not really want to do any further surgeries on and were left with no other viable options. Overall though, the tolerance was very good with an average pain score of only 1.9 out of 10. And there were only two very minor adverse events. One was the skin abrasion, where the cuff was put on too tight initially, and the other was a bit of transient pain, which went away once the patient started walking around. Here you can see the overall three hour pad rate once the pacing cuff was put on, showing a statistically significant decrease in overall three hour pad weight once you apply the pacing cuff to the patient. Furthermore, when we looked at penile saturations, importantly, what we found was once a pacing cuff was applied, there was no decrease in penile head O2 saturations, both immediately and after three hours of use. At two weeks and one month after pacing cuff use, the overall number of pads used by the patients decreased. And what's important is when we stratified it across uh, the various comorbidities, i.e. including the patients who were unfit or too high risk for surgery, you can see the number of pad use also decreased at two weeks and one month, therefore giving a viable option potentially for these patients. And as you can see here, what's more important is that the overall quality of life, i.e. the ICIQ score, the symptom score for these patients, decreased after the pacing cuff was put on the patient. And you can see here that when we stratified it according to the age range, overall the ICIQ improved after two weeks and after one month, and therefore showing the benefits of this cuff was maintained over time. For the first time in the UK, the pacing cuff represents a novel and viable approach to managing male SUI, demonstrating good efficacy, tolerability, and importantly, safety. This also opens up a new option for our patients who are otherwise deemed unfit for surgery, so giving them something to look forward to that may actually improve their quality of life. And even for those who are fit for surgical options due to the waiting list, this gives them a temporary option to relieve their symptoms whilst waiting for the definitive surgery. At our center, we really look forward to using this for increasing the number of our patients. And actually we look forward to data from other centers in the use of the pacing cuff as its use increases in the UK over time. Thank you very much for your time today in listening to our presentation. Pacy Cuff Ultra patient brochures are supplied with a pop out measuring strip to ensure accurate girth measurement and penile length measurement. If the girth measurement is between two sizes, your patient should choose the larger size. Pacy Cuff can then be purchased from My Pelvic Health co.uk directly using the QR code provided in the illustration. For patients that have a PayPal account and qualify for PayPal finance, payments can be made interest-free over four months or up to five years by installment with interest. Our local medical reps can assist with technical usage training and troubleshooting if necessary. However, if your patient feels that PaceyCuff is not the right product choice for them, the device can be returned within 30 days of purchase for a full refund.
Can your patient tie their own shoelaces? If not, they may lack sufficient manual dexterity to manage pacer cuff ultra with ease. Slider adjustment ensures a comfortable fit and can be replicated by noting the number on the underside on the securement strap. Like all new devices, practice makes perfect. Encourage your patient to practice at home for a few days before venturing out, noting that small adjustments in the slider can have a significant impact on overall tension. Some patients may need slightly extra tension later in the day as pelvic floor muscles tire. Of course, the goal of treatment is to improve pelvic floor tone using Kegel exercises until management devices are no longer required. However, devices like Pacey Cuff give your patients freedom to engage in outdoor activities and sports with confidence leak free. To void whilst wearing Pacey Cuff Ultra, hold and point the penis with one hand while loosening the Velcro secure from above with the other. Urine will flow immediately. Pacey Cuff Ultra can be cleaned in warm water with a mild soap before rinsing and allowed to dry in air naturally before reapplication. A replacement is required when the Velcro secure mechanism no longer functions as expected. We want to thank you for your attention. If you have any follow-up queries or would like to request rep support or brochures and samples, please reach out to iMedicare on contact at imedicare.co.uk or call customer services Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on 0044-1923-23-7795 or visit mypelvichealth.co.uk. Contact us. Many thanks.